Hey everybody, I'm still here in the home office of Jungian analyst and author J. Gary Sparks. He's going to tell us the story about how Daryl Sharp saved his butt. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Once upon a time, I was a student in Switzerland and I was absolutely flat broke out of money. I didn't have money to even take the transportation system there, which is not expensive. Uh, I had a friend allowing me to stay in her apartment while she was back in the States, living uh, really close to the bone. I didn't even have enough money to get a plane ticket back to the States. So I threw the I Ching. The I Ching said, it gave me a response, hex, hexagram number one, if you know the I Ching. It's probably the most positive hexagram possible in the whole book. And basically what it says is, wait, universe will respond. And I thought, ha, 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 isn't that sweet? I didn't know what else to do. So I had to go to the Institute, which was at Kuznacht at the time, and um, I hitchhiked into town, into Kuznacht. And then I did my uh, chores at the Jung Institute, picked up a book or whatever it was, and I was hitchhiking back. And usually you get a ride in about five minutes or 10 minutes. Uh, usually in that, those, those days, it was not at all difficult. I waited, I waited, I waited, I waited. All of a sudden, <laughs> Up pulls a Fiat Bianchi. Daryl Sharp is sitting in the car. He said, what are you doing? I said, I'm hitchhiking back to Louise's. He said, come on, get in. I'll give you a ride. Once in the car, he said, how are you doing? I said, actually, I'm really sucking. I'm going to have to give this program up because I'm absolutely out of money. I've turned over every stone. I have no idea how I'm going to afford the rest of this training. He said, well, I'm graduating in a, in a month. Would you like my teaching jobs? And he passed on to me uh, jobs at what well, was then Swiss Air at the commercial high school in Zurich and at a MBA program in Switzerland as well. Now, teachers in Zurich make phenomenal money. Uh, I'm guessing they start right out of college anywhere between seventy and $100,000. Uh, probably at the higher end because you can pick up a couple of extra classes to to uh, to uh, bring up that seventy thousand to one hundred thousand. So I could work ten, twelve hours a week and pay for my expenses. So had I not uh, had that lucky encounter with Daryl, had the universe not responded uh, through that little Alto Bianchi, I wouldn't be here today. So I'm quite grateful for the role the man has played in my life, which is one of the many reasons I like inner city books. And I have them all stacked right in my office next to my consulting chair. Daryl has sent me every one of his books that Inner City has published. And we'll go a slow scan through the books. And I will mention we're coming up to Edward Eninger. I'll talk about him in a second. Why his work I feel is so important. Going on to... Oh, wow, you have Goethe's Faust. Faust by Edinger, his commentary. There's Robert Gardner's thesis. What are the spiral bound books? They are a list of my dreams. Oh, wow. So we go down to the lower shelf. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to focus here. Where are we? She has to be on on a careful angle here. Coming up to one of my other favorite Jungian authors, Mary Woodman, whose work on eating disorders, the psychology of the feminine, is salutary. And of course, we'll pass by Donald Sharp's books along the way. As you see, I have put them in a separate category because of their remarkable and witty content. Witty indeed. I call him the Dean of American Humor and the Prince of Nonsense. <laughs> Edinger's book that uh, Darrell has published are extremely important for me. When I returned from Switzerland, I thought, how oh, oh my God, am I going to survive in this country? And at that time, uh, Edinger's books were not known, but tapes of his books were available. And I would wait until a new series of tapes came out and call up the LA Institute and order it. 
And then when his books uh, began being published, I devoured them. I had the privilege of working on one of them, editing uh, his book on the Old Testament prophets, also another one with Daryl. And um, for my tastes, Edinger's exposition of Young's writings uh, are the clearest that, uh, as, as clear as it gets. I find him an accurate commentator. And honestly, I don't know if I could have ever really digested Young without Edinger's help. Uh, he, I don't know how he does it, but he has a way of digging into that material and showing its practical relevance. So uh, if Inner City published only then, it would have done an enormous service to Jungian psychology. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Bye-bye.